In this report, I'm going to share with you some significant highlights from yesterday, December 1, from Tesla Gigafactory in Texas, in Austin, known as Giga Texas. Today, when I was looking at your comments, friends, I saw one of you asked me, how are things going at Giga Texas? I haven't had reports for a long time. Our friend Joe Teichmeyer has a new video, which he always shares with us. And the video was that you are seeing on your screen was filmed yesterday on December 1. And uh, before I go, some highlights. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily, daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So, you know, this Giga, Giga Factory, Giga Texas, used to be known as Cybertruck Giga Factory, but then the approval took long time and then they were thinking about Oklahoma versus Texas and then it was Texas we knew and uh, kind of it was changed to Giga Texas, which I believe is the official name in the documents. Now, as looking at the latest vid uh, video from Joe Techmire, you can see that uh, uh, the steel beams of two-story building coming up with foundations around giving us an idea of the size of the building on the other side of the site of the first section of Tesla Gigafactory Texas there is also a lot of construction work at what we believe are the foundations of Tesla's upcoming giant casting machines for the factory this is going to be huge Tesla is using casting machines uh, going to use in Giga Berlin replacing hundreds of KUKA robotic arms same as uh, Giga Texas, but still it will still hire thousands of people. So Joe Techmeyer says, here are the significant highlights from um, today, December 1. The steel structure has grown again, adding another four sections of the first floor, another four sections of second floor and roof truss structures. It looks like uh, preparations were underway for another expansion as, as he was departing. He, uh, Joe also says many more trucks are arriving uh, to Giga Texas, bringing materials, steel and concrete beams. As I was leaving, two very long trucks carrying two huge concrete roof beams arrived, but uh, he says, when I was not able to capture a photo, if you watch other Quad Squad videos taken later today, you will see them possibly even installed. Uh, I have a question if anyone knows, or Joe, if you're watching this video, if you know, please let me know, either in the email or maybe in the comments. Do you see any prefabricated method used in this construction? because we know that Giga uh, Berlin was uh, was going ahead with uh, astonishing spring uh, speed because in Giga Berlin the German construction workers were using what is called prefabricated materials uh, huge structures were being prefabricated in a different locations they were transported to Giga factories uh, location and they were just erecting there so I don't know if the same prefabricated method of construction is being used at Giga factory tech us as well. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, Joe also says that over a thousand footings have been completed. That's a lot. Thousand footings have been completed and uh, dozens more underway. Almost as far as you can see, there are footings at Giga Texas on both foundational halves. Um, the march south with construction of footings on both halves of the foundation seem to be accelerating. And he, say, he says, speaking of footings, they have now installed large, large footings completely across the area formerly considered part of a interior road. Um, I honestly have no idea what to think of this as it's pretty clear a contiguous long central road is not happening now. In fact, speaking of interior road, uh, this morning I had another video um, report about the interior of Body in White building in Giga Berlin. So you guys, if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. It's really interesting. Joe also says that there were four concrete roof beams installed and two more plus a concrete cross beam around arriving this morning while I was there he says and we see one of them installed uh, what is really interesting is it appears that they were preparing to also install two double T roof concrete prefabricated sections most likely where they just installed the first uh, fourth roof beam we may see this completed uh, later today uh, he also says the uh, zippered excavation area has clearly begun a new phase of construction as wooden 
ladders and forms were being placed in the pit area and it looks like supervisors were preparing for work to begin no jop work was going on going on in the pit as it was completely vacated for the next step to begin could we get close finally what this area is for very soon if you guys know um let us know joe says i did fly around the east and north areas but nothing much was going on so i decided to concentrate on the main foundation area which was remarkably busy today so you guys you can see what is happening in giga berlin uh, i'm sorry in giga texas today a lot of work at an astonishing speed as well i'm surprised we, we haven't paid very much attention to this we have been paying more attention to giga berlin um, but we will see soon this uh, factory in austin uh, by tesla rising very soon and uh, uh, i think the date to start working is sometimes next summer or early fall so we'll see how things go uh, let's continue watching joe's video joe thank you very much for this video we greatly appreciate you sharing it with us and uh, let's keep watching and see the rest of the video friends in the meantime this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please like this video it helps us as well and ring the notification bell after you subscribe for daily tesla news and i'll see you in our next report have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you may be peace be with all of you god bless you and your families and see you soon let's keep watching joe's video have a wonderful rest of the day